Hey everyone, welcome back to V's Kitchen. I'm hoping you're all doing well. So today's recipe is absolutely delicious. I am going to show you guys how to make this oven baked coconut rice. Guys, you are certainly in for a treat with this recipe. So stay with me and let's get started. I'm going to begin by adding some shallots, garlic, ginger, and scotch bonnet to a blender. Now, when it comes to the scotch bonnet, please feel free to add more or less, depending on how spicy you like your jollof rice. Next, I'm just going to blend this till smooth. Now, time to make the jollof rice stew. I'm going to begin by adding three tablespoons of coconut oil to my pan. Next, I'm going to allow the coconut oil to melt. Once the coconut oil has melted, I'm going to add some onions and just allow the onions to fry until it is fragrant and translucent. Once the onions is fragrant and translucent, I'm going to go ahead and add curry powder. Next, I'm going to allow the curry powder to simmer on low heat for one minute. Try to do this on low heat because if your curry powder burns, it's going to leave a bitter taste in the jollof rice and that's not what you want. Next, add tomato puree and mix everything together and allow the tomato puree to simmer on low heat for three minutes. Next, I'm going to add the blended mixture to my pan and I'm just going to go ahead and mix everything together well and just allow this to simmer on low to medium heat for five minutes. While the stew is simmering, I'm going to blend one tin tomato, which I have just added to my blender, and just blend this till smooth. Next, I'm going to add the blended tin tomato to my pan, and then I'll mix everything together well. I'm now going to go ahead and add my seasonings to my stew. Also guys, feel free to season your stew using your preferred seasonings of choice. Now the reason why I'm always saying use your preferred seasonings of choice is because I have had a few people leave a comment under my video saying that I add too much seasoning in my food. Now, as you can see, I always use the same seasonings whether I'm making stew or soup. Now the main ones are my coriander, my cumin, my black pepper, white pepper, mixed herbs, smoked paprika. These I use all the time and they don't contain any traces of salt. The others will be my bedia, my adobo and of course my mayu cube. And these three will contain traces of salt which is why I stick to only three. So this is what works for me. And of course once you find seasonings that work for you and make your food tasty, you stick to it. So as always guys, like I will continue to say, Feel free to use your preferred seasonings of choice. I have done so and I've mixed everything together and I'm just going to allow my jollof stew to simmer for five to 10 minutes on low to medium heat. And five to 10 minutes later, this is what the jollof stew is looking like. Also guys, don't forget to taste and adjust seasonings if needed. I'm now going to go ahead and add one tinned coconut milk and oh my goodness guys, I know this jollof is going to come out tasty because the smell emanating from this pan is out of this world. Once you've added coconut milk, mix everything together well to ensure that everything is well combined. Next, I have washed my rice and I'm going to go ahead and add my rice to my pan. Once I've added my rice, I'm going to mix everything together to ensure that all the rice and the stew, everything is well mixed together. And then next, I'm going to cover and just allow this jollof rice to simmer on low heat for five minutes. And five minutes later, guys, look at this jollof rice. It smells amazing. All I'm doing now is I'm stirring to redistribute heat because I want to ensure that this jollof rice comes out 
perfect and well cooked we don't want some parts cooked and some parts still hard next what i'm going to do is the blender which i used to blend the tomatoes i'm going to rinse it with water and i'm going to pour the water on my jollof rice why am i doing this i don't have enough water to completely cook the jollof rice so i didn't initially add water at the beginning because you know sometimes you add too much water and of course once you add too much water to your rice you can't take that away so i was ensure that the moisture which is around the jollof rice is always reduced before i add more so now i'm going to place this in my oven and allow this jollof rice to bake for 40 minutes now if you don't have a casserole dish like myself and you still want to bake a jollof rice in the oven then i would say transfer the jollof rice in an oven proof baking dish and bake your jollof rice now this is 20 minutes of baking the jollof rice in the oven i have taken it out of the oven and again i'm turning to redistribute heat because like i said i want to ensure that every part of this jollof rice is well cooked next i'm going to go ahead cover place it back in the oven and allow the jollof rice to finish cooking which will take an additional 20 minutes so in total 40 minutes and this jollof rice is ready now guys are you ready look at this look at this oven baked bad boy coconut jollof rice oh my goodness it smells amazing and i know you are certainly going to try this recipe and you are going to love it as always thank you so much for joining me if you have not yet subscribed to the channel kindly please click on that subscribe button don't forget to like this video and also share this video let me see your comments in the comment box below thank you for joining me and i will see you next time enjoy your delicious jello fries Bye.